Beyonce She want marry me, yo I hope that she's happy kukuwate Hope your love go sweet past the shit up Airport is giving. Sophie say hi. And the immigration officer is about to stop us. It looks like he wants to be a, be a part of this video. But I don't want to be a part of this video. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Where it's happening. Okay, we're going to Ghana. Guys, this airport is giving. Like, I mean, the sun is sunning, everything is giving. And they're not even stressing me. I like this documentary. Yes, I'm documenting everything the way it should be. Period. So here, okay. So the piece, um, just for about four days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. Hey guys, I've actually not even said anything to you guys today. This is the first time I'm talking, and I'm just carried away. Thank you, sir. So yeah, we're just trying to check in, and that's it. <laughs> You want to snap with me? Guys, you wanna, this one looks like it will be like fingers crossed. <laughs> Sophia Okumbawa, I'm an SSA to the governor yeah. and I, I'm a business person. Yeah. I sell cars and I also have a foundation that caters for the internally displaced persons. So you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> So many times, yeah, and this is only my first. This is your first time, so she's about to like you know take, take me around, around, show me town. And Exhausted. I know I look like I don't know sweat tired and everything but before I kind of like freshen up I want to like just show you guys my room and because things are about to scratch things are, <laughs> things are about to go left right center and whatnot so I want to show you the room the room is very beautiful although I am tired and it's a bit angry because Marriott Hotel really stressed us honestly Marriott Hotel Accra I don't know what's up with you guys your payment process is so stressful honestly we couldn't pay, we couldn't pay with a card, we couldn't pay with a transfer. It was a whole lot of stress. We just made reservation yeah. before coming, right? So, anyways, let us put that aside and let me show you the room. The room is actually beautiful though, so I'm not going to take that away. So, once you walk in, we actually have our suitcases here. Once you walk in, you just see this beautiful wardrobe. And I actually love, if you know me so well, you know I'm vibing with browns. So... I love the brown colors and yeah it has the same vibe from head to toe and on this side there's this beautiful side lamp here so beautiful and this mirror and that is Sophie Sophie actually recently just called for food <laughs> like it's actually so needed I'm telling you all day we've not even had anything 
So mm -hmm. on this side has this kente design. Even before I came to Ghana, I've always known kente. I love kente so much. And yes, it has this kente design and it has this standing lamp and this beautiful chair over here. There's actually an outdoor view here that I'm going to come back to. Then look at the bed stand. Bed stand is beautiful. I love what they did with like the middle part of the bed stand and normal side side lamp. And yeah, this is the bed. Oh my god. This is the bed. I'll give you a full view. Yes. And let me show you guys the bathroom. And one thing that caught my attention when I entered was actually this lamp. This lamp is so beautiful. I love. I don't think I've seen anything like this before, if I'm being honest. So let's go to the bathroom now. So now, ooh, bathroom is beautiful. I actually love how this place has the old wood vibe and everything. So yeah, nothing serious. And that's me right there. I know it looks trashy, but I mean, you're gonna take it like that. So it has a shower here. And that is that about that. So now let us go back to the view that we have. Okay. Ooh, we actually have a beautiful view. I love it. I love, love it. So yeah, that is that about the room tour. You guys are gonna see more videos and all of that like as we proceed on our on our um vacation <laughs> so yeah and then and, and i feel like i'm not like properly introduced myself for maybe people that are stopping by for the first time if you're stopping by for the first time i am a youtuber based in nigeria i double as an actor a fashion influencer a model and yes a badass content creator i mean give it to me give me my flowers okay <laughs> So yeah, so on this vlog, um, as you've already seen the title, we've been talking a bit here and there. I just wanted to like properly introduce myself to you guys in case of people that stopped me for the first time. So yeah, me and my darling friend Sophie, we came to Ghana to just have some fun and all of that for the weekend. So yeah, that is what this vlog is about. So this is a Ghana vlog and come along with me as we dive in and enjoy this particular one. So, yeah, I want to go freshen up right now and I'll see you guys in a bit. So guys, the funny thing that I did today was actually like wearing my hoodie on my net. In my previous vlog, <laughs> my last vlog, you guys saw that I just made my hair like overnight. Guys, I've not even had one sleep, although I slept a little bit in the lobby. If you guys see videos of me sleeping in the lobby, well, that's me. I'm not going to deny. <laughs> I'm not going to deny that. And one, one sweet thing I want to even say is that Ghanaians are so fun. Ghanaians are so respectful. They are so, I don't know. Anyway, they seem to just greet me. They're just like, there's just this horror that comes with them. There's this, I don't know, we just gravitate towards each other. I feel like I'll be coming here more these days. I mean, anyways, I wore this hoodie just to like hide my net because, I mean, bad bitches don't, <laughs> bad bitches don't go out with their net on their head. Anyways, I love the, I love today's sleigh. I know I've not even given you guys a full outfit check. So my pants, my pants is from Stack Luxury and this is my top is one of my style acts. If you've not seen some of my style acts, you're joking. And this hoodie too is just like a hoodie that you can join. I feel like a large ass will actually like this more, like Muslims, female Muslims will like this more because you don't even have to wear it as a full clothes. So yeah, that's it. I want to go like wipe my face, shower. And get ready for food because food, food is coming and that's like my breakfast lunch so if it's not our breakfast lunch at dinner, we'll have dinner. i know we'll have dinner sorry like right now it feels like breakfast lunch because we've not even eaten anything today let's go get this pretty face better <laughs> Guys, I just finished beating and it's giving 
how set a table before you in the presence of your enemies. What? Guys, it's long overdue to eat. We've not had anything all day, like literally nothing. So, I can't wait to dive in deep into this food, please. And the plantain is so much. Uh, I love it. Most of these hotels, they'll be giving somebody small, small plantain, but this one came in handy. Yes? So guys, we are ready for our brunch. <laughs> I'm gonna call this brunch, right? Is it brunch? I don't know if it's brunch anymore. Lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner, kind of. So, um, I'm I'm having Ghana jollof for the first time, and I'd like to try it to see what it tastes like. I want you to tell me the difference between this one and Nigeria jollof. Nigeria jollof. Yeah. Okay. I'll be honest. I'm a very honest person. Okay. How is it taste? I don't know. A little bit dried. Dried? It feels smoky. Of course, it's smoky jollof rice. Guys, I think I'm gonna do Nigeria jollof anytime, any day. This is not so bad, <laughs> but Nigeria jollof is. <laughs> so, okay, sorry, no, we didn't even also, tell you guys. This is, also, this is also still nice. No, yeah, no, it's nice. Yeah. It's still nice, but like if, you know you said Nigeria jollof or Ghana. Or Ghana so we're having Ghana jollof rice. This tilapia fish. And it's, what do you call it? Shito? That's shito. Shito. Yes. I've not had shito before. <laughs> I'm going to have it today. Per. Then there's salad with chicken breast. And plantain. Mm. Mm. Guys, we're literally eating the life of our head. <laughs> <laughs> you know the word, right? You get the joke, right? <laughs> mm. Mm. Really nice. It is. Mm -hmm. I think I should try this shit though. It's nice. If you like spicy food, mm. you can. You would enjoy it. Mm. I hope I'm not making the wrong choice. Not at all. Ah, but please give me the enjoy your love anytime you <laughs> So it's it's kind of spice. This particular one is kind of hard. Like, okay. Yeah. But it's not bad. I think I like it though. No, I'm talking about the rice. The rice, yeah, it's, it's hard smooth. and it's kind of smoky. So Nigeria will love anytime, any days because I definitely will pick. I definitely will pick like Nigeria will love over Ghana will love, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a lot of work. Mm. Period. Bro, this salad is really, really. No, really this salad is nice. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cheers to more vacations. Happy <laughs> birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I didn't. <laughs> you actually forgot who was celebrating your birthday. I forgot I was celebrating my birthday in, like, after two months. <laughs> so. Is it up to two months? This is not up to two months. That's like a month plus. This month is almost ending. So, Sophie actually promised me this trip for my birthday, per, and we're already on the trip. So, cheers, baby. Cheers to many more years to me. Thanks, my darling. And You're yes. welcome. <laughs> Oof. Good morning. <laughs> so, this is my second day in Ghana. I woke up pretty late because I slept pretty late. But um, after I was done eating yesterday, I didn't vlog again because I just needed to like do some things, like finish up some jobs on my laptop. And what else did I even do? What else? Okay, I tried seeing a movie too. I started this series, Top Boy. I don't know. I don't know if I am a bad person for not seeing this, like when it was still hot or whatnot. But I started. I started about a month ago, and I saw just one episode, and I left it. So I was like, okay, let me see more episodes yesterday, since I was not even able to sleep. So I did that. I saw. I did not even finish one episode. <laughs> Anyways, um, for today, so uh, it's nearly for this trip. We actually plan to like visit a couple of places. Um, we want to go to Safari Valley. Sophie is saying that we should go there today, but I think we should go tomorrow so that because I want us to like lodge there and actually sleep. Because she's saying we should maybe go. I, I don't want us to like go and take pictures and come back. But let's see how that goes anyway. So she's actually in the bathroom right now trying to shower and everything. I'm going to get myself prepared too because we want to go and have breakfast downstairs. And guys. Guess what I did not forget at home? I came with my immune booster 
I actually heard that there's something flying around in Ghana. I don't know what it is. Maybe like a flu or an illness. I don't know. And I don't I, I don't want to carry carry go out with say I don't carry come here. If you know, you know. And I've actually been knitting this cap. So what happened with this cap is I want to knit a Ghana color <laughs> Ghana color hat for myself. And what happened was like my this trip is actually a birthday gift to me from Sophie and she she kind of like because we've been planning since August, like we can plan and something will come up, we'll cancel, cancel, cancel. So this time I could not even cancel again, you know, it was already kind of like last minute. And I wanted like this hat and I didn't know who I could have like told to do it for me at that last minute that would be able to deliver because I literally just started this hat yesterday morning. I don't know if you saw my my like last vlog before this one you'd see that hmm. sophie i think your phone is ringing you know is an alarm prayer, prayer okay ah uh -uh. you know just finish one prayer now not be one prayer you just finish now hey prayer warrior prayer warrior sophie okay me i think i did prayer i don't know say sophie on pass I know the prayer. We say for you. The what thing? The grace. Ah, it is well. Honestly, prayer. Prayer is actually the key. Prayer is the master key. So, be it like Christian, Muslim, like whatever you believe in, just learn to pray and just. I mean, it's good. <laughs> I don't. Know, I just let me drop that here. Because it's actually good to pray. I love to pray. You should love to pray too. I love to pray. Same here. So this art, I'm just really praying I'm able to finish it, honestly. Because I've not even had the time. Like, there's a lot to do. And I'm actually here for your vacation. I didn't mean I can dedicate about... If I, if I can dedicate, like, three hours to this art, I would actually finish it. Three hours. But I don't have that three hours. So just sit down. Does it take more than three hours? Yes, now we just don't see, guys. I was thinking that when I'm on plane, when I'm on air, I'll just like continue this art and try to finish it. Ah, Sophie and I just did and just did till we got to a car, so I couldn't even really do anything. So I don't know. I there's actually somewhere that I wanted us to go today because I'm actually here to tour and enjoy life. So I'm not, I'm, I'm so not staying in my room and not doing anything. Okay, okay. So I just hope I'm able to finish this art and I can actually achieve the picture that I want to get with it. And if I don't, I, I will. I'm a strong believer. I, I get fit. Hmm? Oh yeah, from my head. Increase from my heart. <laughs> Let me see how far I can go with this. And um, I'll shower and like freshen up. So I'll get back to you guys with how long I go. I hope I'm able to finish. This is actually not my aim. I don't know. I just thought of this idea last minute. I'm such a last. Anyway, I'm a last minute person, but this trip happened last minute too. So, anyways, let's see where we get to. I'll check up on you guys in a bit. So, guys, this is my breakfast. I'm having pancakes, waffles, um, baked beans. Egg and chicken sausage. That's Sophie's. See that Sophie's looking pretty for breakfast. Are you sure you came to have breakfast? Very, very nice. So guys, after breakfast, I just came to like glam up and getting ready. We want to go take some pictures and I am finally taking off my pins. Like yesterday, I literally wore that hoodie. Although the hoodie complemented my outfit, but the first reason why I wore that hoodie was because I wanted it to secure my hair because I wasn't ready to take off the pins yet, so that I can get the curl as bouncy as it can be when I'm ready to take pictures. So yeah, oh, this thing has actually just attached itself to my ear. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm still. I'm not gonna like run my hand through the calls yet because 
the main pictures I want to take or the main place I want to go. The main place I want to go is tomorrow and I still want my hair to be in a good shape for that. So I'm just gonna do something little. Okay, I think the colors are out already. And ooh, it's keeping right. It's keeping premium. Premium B period. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I think we're good. So catch you guys downstairs. So guys, Sophie and I came out to take pictures and per the pictures are given, right? They were giving what they it's should to give, I mean. <laughs> so we're going to Labadi. Is it Labadi? Labadi, Let's yeah. go like this so that it can be better. So we're going to Labadi now. So to have let's fun. get dressed. Yeah, of course to have fun. We're on this trip to have fun, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Labadi babies. <laughs> Labadi babies. <laughs> we are here, we are here. This place is so beautiful. Wow. So, what's fascinating about this place is the waterfall. I heard the official paper, right? Yeah. No. Nice. Ghana traffic and Nigeria traffic. I don't know which one. Because we've been on the road since. breakfast already by the way Ooh. okay let's start with some bacon
croissant. It's my day three in Ghana and Ghana has been fabulous so far. So yesterday I couldn't really talk to you guys anymore because because of some unforeseen circumstances I couldn't vlog, I couldn't do anything when we got to Labani or Labadi. Sorry if I if I'm pronouncing it wrongly. I think it's Labadi, yeah. But the food that Sophie recommended to me was really nice. I enjoyed it. It was really good. So when I just got back last night, I just did my night routine and I went to bed. So Right now is one of my excited moments because we're going to Safari Valley. I've actually been really looking forward to that and we're going today, we're going today, we're going today. So yeah, we're waiting for our cab right now. I'm trying not to talk too much because of the music playing. Copyright-ish, I don't want no problem, okay? Anyways, I'm gonna see you when I get into the car. So stay tuned for this adventurous trip. And it's my style, catch you in the car. I'm trying to finish up my hat before we get there. I have one more color to go and I must be done before we get to Safari Valley. Let's get to work. Wow, I think this is my favorite part. The wooden bathtub, so beautiful. Oh my it's god. So nice. Yes, imagine this part. Sophia, so I love it. So today is my last day in Ghana. I'm definitely com coming back soon because I had such an amazing time. Although the, the day I went to Safari, I didn't let her vlog that night because I was thinking I would vlog the next morning and do all the whatever. But I had to leave early the next day. So yeah, and like I had a quick meeting that I wanted to do and I wanted to have rather. And after I left that day, I was supposed to go to the arts um 
to the art market or something that the Uber driver that took us to Safari was telling us about. But I was not able to go. I was just tired that day. That day, sorry, yesterday, I just shut down totally. And yes, after my meeting, I had to come back to Marriott Hotel because it's closer to the airport. That other Safari is like three hours. So I just had to leave like in the morning for my meeting. It came to rest in Marriott. And I'm leaving today. So I just want to pack. I've started packing already. I had my makeup done this morning because I wanted to do one tiny bit of content with this outfit actually. With this outfit that I got from Haura, Nigeria. Sadly, I didn't make any landscape video of the outfits when I was shooting. But I could just had like a clip of the outfit here. Oh, go check it out on my Instagram because it's to be on my Instagram soonest. I don't know how soon, if before this vlog or after this vlog. But you guys are going to get to see. So right now, it's just parking, parking, parking time. And it's high time we left. Period. So yeah. Ghana was good. It was beautiful. I had a good time. And that's about it. I mean, that's about it. Okay. I think I've packed majority of my things that are here. So let me just... Oops. Let me just fold the remaining things that I have to fold. And I guess I'll just see you guys on my way to the airport. Oh, crew. Thank you, Ghana. And I want to say this, guys. I didn't vlog as much as I wished to vlog. I didn't... I don't know. I had so much more energy. I had so much more enthusiasm. I had so much more to do. But there was just always one thing or the other. Like, safari too. Driver delayed me. It took us to Aqua instead of Safari Valley. And... I got there late. I was thinking next morning I was going to do stuff, you know, just for you guys vlog. I had to leave very early because I had a meeting and the trip, my trip from Safari Valley back to town was about three hours, three good hours. I mean, if I wanted to do anything, I wouldn't have been able to achieve anything. So, and then I got back to the hotel. I didn't, I didn't even carry my camera yesterday. Oh, only for when I went to eat and yeah, it's time to leave. Thank you so much, Ghana. As you guys on my Snapchat has been asking me for a meet and greet. Maybe when next I come, we're going to do that. There's much more to do here, right? We're going to come back, okay?